Now we're going to simplify algebraic expressions. Here's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about an expression like this. Um, 2 plus 3x minus 2 times 2x plus 3t he t he. So we're going to treat this as an order of operation problem. Man, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Man, do I have any parentheses? Yes. Right here, can I do anything inside those parentheses? No. So I need to go outside of them. And I have multiplication. Let's talk about how to multiply those guys. Maybe over on the side. If I had 2 times um, 3x plus 5, I, could, I know it's a different one. I know. But we're talking about distribution. Distribution. And it goes and it goes and it goes. So that you don't forget to take it to both terms in that binomial. So this is 2 times 3x plus 2 times 5. Now I changed the colors a little bit so that you can see that that 2 went to the 3x and that 2 went to the 5. 2 times 3 gives you 6 x plus 2 times 5 gives you 10. Very nice. But what if they had uh, done this to you? What if they gave you minus on the outside of 3x minus 5? I know, it's a different problem. Here, make it real different. Make it 8. Great. What does that minus sign do? It goes, it goes, it goes. So that you don't forget to take it to both terms and that binomial. So here what this does is it changes the signs of everything on the inside. That was a positive 3x, now it's a minus 3x. That was a minus 8, now it's a plus 8. Great. So a minus on the outside changes the signs on everything on the inside. A 2 on the outside doubles everything. Yeah, we could actually write this as 3x plus 5 plus 3x plus 5 just as if you would have done like 3d as d plus d plus d but here I see my d is that guy and here I'm only having two copies now you gather collect and combine here's 3x there's 3x it's a 6x here's 5 and 5 that's 10. It's the same as when you go but that was so much cooler because it makes that noise. Oh boy. So I'm over here. Why did I do that? Because I want to talk about this in conjunction with that. Okay. So I'm on to my multiplication step. I need to take that entire minus 2 and go Don't forget that minus is going to change the signs and that 2 is going to double everything. So here I am. I'm over here. I have 2 plus 3x. And then and then and then and then I take that minus 2 times that 2 and get a minus 4x. And that minus 2 times that 3 and get a minus 6. Oh boy. So now, do I have any like terms? Yeah. I got some x's. A whole bunch of them. Yeah, well these. So if I had 3x's and somebody came along and took 4. I'd have minus an x. Go, okay. If I had 2 plus a minus 6, those have opposite signs, so I'm going to subtract and associate the sign of the bigger. This is going to be a minus 4. And then what? You do. A box. Yeah, it's not a box. What is that? It's a tent. Do you know why? That's because this problem was in tents. And a flower.